right, coming up next is the UFC Heavyweight Showdown. So here we go from T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas, Nevada, and wherever we are in the world. Most fighters on this roster, to a man, to a woman, they want the chance at some point to make this walk here in Vegas. Do you absolutely want to fight in Las Vegas? Before it was the MGM Grand, it was the Mandalay Bay. Now it is the T-Mobile Arena, the most beautiful arena in the world, in the home to the biggest UFC fights right now. From International Fight Week to Championship Fight, all across the board, you come to T-Mobile. A uh, really good job by him there to raise the guard, DC, and block those shots coming his way. He does a great job of blocking all incoming strikes. Oh, really using his reach advantage there with that punch, DC. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Big kick. He's able to slip the left there. So both guys landing at will here. Good action early. Oh, single collar tie here. Way to hide that leg kick. Big ball punch land. Now he gets back to range. And he landed the right hand there. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Keeps the elbow there. Looking to land the right hand, he misses. Oh, significant strike attempt there, but a huge block. Beautiful body to land right under the elbow. Three minutes to go in the round. Back to the jab now, no good. Well, he's always on the counterattack, but a nice leg kick there by Lee. Punch over the top. Ooh, head kick lands, he's hurt. Kick to the body by Lee. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Try to establish that jab. Nice counter left hook. Lee's head kick attempt, that one is blocked. I mean, he's cutting down the size with these beautiful leg kicks. Flip his hips into that kick. Oh, big head kick. Connects with the right hand. Pretty good punch that one. Nice right punch by this young man. Single collar tie now. Good punch. Look at how he turned his hips into that leg kick. Oh, Superman punch. Not always easy to execute. He did so there. Nice kick. There you go. Hit him with some strikes. So there it is. Longer reach paying dividends as he counters with a punch. Well, no problem getting inside to land that straight punch. He's got a huge edge in reach, and he made good use of it there. Just missed with the left there. Cut to the head, but it's blocked there by Lee. The spinning back fist. Beautiful kick. Just misses with the straight left hand. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Lands the right hand. Nice head kick. That right hand hurt him a little bit. Oh, and he caught the kick. Oh, the master of the transition. Nice scramble. 
Lush right hand is true. 15 seconds remain in the round. That shot is blocked by Lee. Well, he continues to stay busy. What do they say, DC? Punches in bunches? Punches in bunches. He's landing them upside his opponent's head over and over again. Five minutes in the books. Well, what a round it was. Daniel Cormier, you were one of the greatest mixed martial arts athletes of all time. I'm not sure you can do a Superman punch like that, though. With my luck, I would try to push off and my foot would be slippery, wet <laughs> or something. I would fall right into a knee. No, I would not try that. I don't have that ability. I'm not that free inside the octagon. All right, DC, second round is getting underway. Round one, not the round of the year necessarily, but some good in there. And it's not always going to be. When you have two very talented fighters, sometimes it's very even. That's what we saw in round number one. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Nice shot to the body there. There's no tell on that leg kick. Oh, big head kick there. Oh, straight right. Oh, and he lands another leg kick there. I have a novel idea. Maybe the opponent should try to check one of these. He's got to try to check him, but he can't, John, because there's no wind-up. Yeah. There's no tell. And when he feels his opponent is getting a beat on his leg kicks, he'll just pop a jab on him. Get the hands up to block the face, blast the leg kick on the bottom, it's unbelievable to watch a guy that is so diverse yeah. and has such a great understanding of landing these leg kicks. Oh, a huge block there. Beautiful body kick. Missed with that right hand. Oh, massive head kick there. We'll see if he can finish. Oh, no way, spinning back fist. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Swing and a miss with that straight left hand. Nice punch there. Takedown defense holds up. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Yeah, he's mixed it all up. Look at him drive his shin into his own body with that body. Oh, good kicks. Until he blocks it, you better keep throwing those body kicks. So a much different approach from him here in round two. Took him a while to find the range, get in his striking rhythm. He has found it here, and as a result, has really picked up the pace in round two. Nice loop and punch. Big body kick. Look at that jab, snapped his head back. His jab gets to the target so fast, and he always brings his hand right back to his face. He's got to be careful dipping his head in the that jab. Beautiful hand skills here, the right and the left. Man, he's timing his shots nicely. It's like Tom Brady out there. He hasn't missed the target. I mean, you insist on bringing in Tom Brady. Stop it, John, stop it. <laughs> Lee gets caught with that punch. Don't be afraid to get that head off the center line. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. Strike. Well, you saw his reference in the tail to take DC. He's got the reach advantage and certainly made good use of it there in landing that check. Head kick lands. Ooh, big shot lands. Back and forth we go. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Telegraph that one at all. Oh, big head kick land. Much improved defensively as he blocks the shot. Oh, the Superman punch lands. 
just misses with the jab there. Man, looks like he's trying to set records here, landing all of these strikes. He is aggressive to a fault and really has been all night long as he continues to pour it on. Got to be careful here, though, not to gas out. Just misses with that one. Oh, and he caught the kick. Lee gets tattooed by that straight punch. Whiffs on that offer. Right hand upstairs. Got the single collar tie. Ooh, what a punch. All right, round three coming up next. All right, so the round is over, but not before damage was done. Cut on the cheek, sustained in that round. Cut man in there quickly as usual to try to seal it up. All right, let's take a look back at some of the replays from that last round. Unbelievable to see these high-level competitors get in each other's face, tuck their chin, bite down on the mouth guard, and just let it all hang out over the course of five minutes. All right, so back-to-back -back entertaining rounds. We'll see how it goes in this round. We'll see which corner sort of maximize those 60 seconds on the side. This is what happens when you get two very slow, very evenly matched fighters coming together. Nobody has really taken a lead in this fight. Let's see who does it going into the next round. Well, most fighters can't keep up this type of aggression and pace, but you don't have to worry about this guy. He hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. He has a commitment to kicking tonight, and it shows. Right hand upstairs. Look at the force behind him. Right to the target. Let's see if his opponent can survive. I cannot believe he is still standing after taking that punch. Left hand punch from the clinch. Spinning back fist. That strike blocked by Lee. Oh, Superman punch. Lands with the right hand. Oh, and there's a land with the kick, so certainly a good sign for him there. When that's working, you know he's in for a And both guys really throwing with authority. Obvious redness on the right side of his body. Oh, buckled in there. Beautiful shot to the body. Big head kick lands. Another head kick lands. Right hand on point. Big kick. Oh, caught him flush with the head kick there, DC. Beautiful setup. There as he lands, and maybe time to get the bonus checks ready. I mean, this fight is about done. He's got to hurt very bad with his head kick. Now he has to find one more strike to end the night. That's a big strike right there. He's looking for that left hand. Not there. Continues to mix it up, going to the head. Oh! Huge right hand! Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Both guys landing at a pretty decent clip. <laughs> Lee's head kick is blocked, so no damage inflicted there. Oh, beautiful jab there, man. It's like you know what's coming, can't stop it. I mean, you have to anticipate that jab coming, or he will batter and bruise you with that single strike. Effective strike there by Lee. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Well, he is really starting to apply a lot of pressure here down the stretch. Not as much offense earlier in the fight. He is making up for lost time now. Nice kick. Huge block there. Whoa! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Oh, he might be out. Oh! 
mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Oh! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. So holding on to him here, not doing a ton, perhaps just looking to recover. His opponent's got him in the clinch. Oh! Another huge right! All right, great position for him here. He's got the full mount. See if he can get that ground and pound. He's going, but he can't rush. A lot of times, guys get in the full mount and they rush, they get nervous. They're like, oh my goodness, I'm winning. Reality is, you're winning, but it can change in a matter of seconds because then they can be gone. He's got to drop his hips, be really heavy at the opponent's base, and then just start to work. Make the opponent give his back so that he can try to get his chokes off or find great grounding palms with very patient grounding palms in such a dominant position. Oh, his opponent squirming like a fish out of water now. The ground and pound is on point. This could very well be the beginning of the end. This could be the beginning of the end. We've seen some really good ground and pound fighters. This young man is as good as any you've ever seen. Timing his shots nicely here, champ. He's doing a great job of mixing everything up and using a lot of the first strikes. That's three rounds in the can. We're headed to the championship round. All right, let's check out some of the action, DC, and how about the punching acumen by that fighter in that previous round? He does not waste anything. He does not loop punches. Everything's tight. Everything's precise. He's a sniper. We always talk about how he's a sniper. He is a sniper. And it showed in that exchange that allowed him to drop his opponent. All right, next round is underway. And if you look at these two guys in between rounds, it looks like they've barely broken a sweat. Both with good resting heart rate, stamina still very high. And you just have to laud the efforts of these guys in training. Both men certainly noted cardio specialists, but incredible that they would have this much in the tank after 10 plus minutes of fighting. Well, just as he did in the previous round, he continues to connect on a high volume of strikes. And a good sign, too, doesn't seem to be slowing down whatsoever. Oh, left hook to the head, it's blocked. Liver kick, if you take those kicks, it's gonna shut your body off. Just misses there with the left. Ooh, what a punch. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Real nice body kick land. Wow, that right punch has been the money weapon for him tonight, and he landed it again there. If his opponent does not change something, he will continue to throw the strike until he makes it. Stop throwing. He lands flush with that right hand. Oh! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. Good shit. Powerful leg kick lands. Unable to land with that punch. What a beautiful uppercut. It landed beautifully. Perfect placement on that shot. Punch coming, it's blocked. Back in the clinch position. This is where he has done a ton of good work here. Punch, punch, punch to the head from the clinch. All right, less than three minutes remain in round four. Nice body kick. Nice. Well, he's looking for that left hand. Just out of range, though, with it. Oh! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got it very bad. Lee's kick to the body is blocked. Big punch land. Oh! Ooh. Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Finish. 
right, so you got to be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't want to mess around for too long. Look at the torso on the right side. Major bruising, and it's only getting worse. Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. Well, hard to win fights in mixed martial arts from the bottom, but nice work here in that position by Lee. Continues to apply pressure here at half guard. Lands the ground and pound strike. Oh, worked hard to get up again, but he looks like he's compromised. Lee's head kick is blocked. No damage there. Misses with that punch. Real sneaky body kick. Big shots being landed on both sides here. Nice head kick. That was a nice strike. Take more of these leg kicks, you will not be able to be very active on your feet. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to pile up these. Oh. Oh. Mark, good movement by him here on the ground. He really is a master of these transitions. He is a master of movement on the ground. You never know where he's going to be. Back to the feet now. You don't oh, know that leg kick. Oh, oh, huge one. That'll do it. He got it. Woo! Yeah, brutal elbow to stop his opponent right there in his tracks. And it really takes strong tech out like that to maximize force over a short distance. But man, when guys do it right with those elbows, it is absolutely devastating. Well, another highlight for the real DC as we look back at that scintillating knockout. Yeah, but the whole fight, he was landing great strikes, kicks, punches. He was doing everything right until eventually he found the shot that ended the fight. So a strong candidate for some bonus money there. A huge knockout for him here tonight. Near perfect execution. They'll be talking about this result for some time. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine has called a stop to this contest at four minutes, 46 seconds of round number four. Playing the winner by...